guys, we are in our last section, um, object-oriented program part two of Ruby, uh, banking on Ruby. So let's get started. It's a real quick one. I took a quick uh, view at it. So uh, actually, uh, the first one right here is just it kind of shows you what it is that we'll be making. Um, attribute reader, initialize stuff we we did in the last uh, section. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to create a class called account. And in this class, we are going to take attribute reader and we are going to say it's going to work for name. And uh, if you do a comma, you can continue it and balance. And then we're going to define the initialize, rather, and that's going to have the parameter name and balance. And we're going to automatically set the balance to 100. And we're going to end that right there. And then we're going to say at name equals name and at balance equals balance. And let's see here. And that should that should be good to go. All right. So we have our name. Let's. I believe we can do it with a comma, but maybe I'm wrong. So root underscore reader. Let's see if. Uh, pull in balance. Let's see if that works. Or maybe there needs to not be a gap for that. There we go. So make sure you don't have a gap for your attribute reader. Um, add two private methods to account. So we're going to add a new method. Or we're going to say private. Uh, so private, uh, we're going to say def, def class, or def pen rather. And we're going to that. And then uh, private, I'll say def pin underscore error. And we'll end that. And then pin should have no arguments and set an instance variable at pin. So pin is going to have at pin equals pin. Uh, Or excuse me, pin at pin equals one two three four, and pin air should re simply return the string access return access denied incorrect pin. Cool. Save and submit. Looks like your pin air method doesn't return access denied. Let's go ahead and just copy it. Oh, I think we need a period on the end here, and now it should work. Nice. So next we're going to define a public, so public uh, def display underscore balance uh, to our account class. And it should take a single, single parameter pin, pin underscore number. And then in here, first end it. Uh, the body of your method should check whether pin number is equal to pin, the result of calling the private. Uh, do they want us to do an if statement? Is that what's going on here? Let's go ahead and check back to the uh, original example. So, all right, yeah, that's what they want us to do. Pin if statement. So, so if if pin underscore number is equal to pin. If it is display balance, the body of your method should check whether the pin number is equal to pin. The result calling private pin method is equal to pin. If it is display balance should puts. Alright, so if it is puts Let's just go ahead and copy this over so we don't get any syntax error. Else we want it to put the pin error message. So pin is for error. And let's go ahead and save and submit. Alright, so the root line 23. So let's see. 
we we might need an end for our if statement. So let's see here. If else this end goes No, it's withdraw. So if else incurred fin, but from there next it's not incurred fin end. So this is our alright, let's go back to our thing. Uh, it doesn't give us very good error messages right now, does it? Else let's pin air. Let's see, let's see if I think we may need an end there. There you go. So uh, make sure you have an end for your if statement. Um, add a public withdraw method to your class that takes two parameters: pin number and amount. So add a public withdraw method. So if we're still in our our class. So withdraw, and in here it's going to have pin underscore number, and it's going to take a amount, and then if pin underscore number equals pin, your method should track, subtract the amount. Uh, and we'll go ahead and just copy this in here. And bam, and then an else statement that says else. Uh, we want to display our pin error message. And then we want to Alright guys, sorry I had to take a quick break, but let's go ahead and get back to this. I'm going to reset the code and uh, start fresh right here. So we're going to add a public withdraw method. So remember, uh, public, and then we're going to def withdraw. And it's going to take two parameters, pin underscore number, and it's going to take amount. We're going to write an if statement, if pin underscore number equals pin. Let's just track them out. So we're going to say at balance. So we need to keep track of the new balance. Uh, equals at balance minus amount. And then we're also going to say we're going to put this put statement in it. Uh, else we want it to puts the, uh, the pin error saying that the is wrong. We need to end it, and then we need to end this as well. And let's clean this up, and that should work just fine. So bam. Alright, last step, create an instance of your account called checking account. So um, checking underscore account equals account dot new. Give it whatever name you like, and we'll just say uh, pizza poker guy, and a starting balance you like, and we'll just say I have uh, 2,500. I don't want to sound too broke. All right, so we created a new account, and now we have it working. So if we wanted to call some methods on it, we would say checking underscore account dot display underscore balance and we need to add our pin which is one two three four and now when we run it it will display our balance of 2500 and that completes our, our final Ruby um, pretty cool stuff uh, estimated nine hours of time it's beginner level um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, next up, we'll be doing Ruby on Rails later on. Um, it's going to take a little bit to, to get there. i um, also be doing some Ruby APIs. Uh, so um, if you're interested in that, check the other videos. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next